Hello everybody. Well, I was going to do a little quick video and, and show you guys what not to do. Learn from my bad choices. So I put this fence in here just uh, when we built the house a few years ago. And my bright idea was I'm going to use four foot net wire and not use any barbed or stranded wire at all. I'm thinking that if I raise it up off the ground, you know, it's going to be a five foot fence. So nothing will even touch it. Boy, was I wrong. Let me show you what I got. You guys see how this fence is pushed pushed down well, what happened is i put my dad's horse in here he was a half draft had a giant head giant neck big horse and he standing flat-footed he'd look right over the fence so he would reach over because of course the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence so then he started pushing this fence down so i went through and raised it up a few times well any little spot like this that looks like a weak spot the horses push it over and the cattle i had my fat calves in here last year and i would not think i mean this this fence has got to be you know close to four feet tall i wouldn't think those calves would touch it man was i wrong i come home from work one day and they stand out here in the hay field luckily they didn't blow but so i've got to just bite the bullet and put a piece of barbed wire across the top i hate barbed wire and horses but i'll tell you what i don't think i got a choice um i gotta poke them a little and get them off the fence so uh well, I'll show you my barbed wire setup. So this is my little Kubota side by side. You guys have seen this a ton. This is a great little outfit. A metal concrete stake in this uh, pocket, I think will roll that fencing wire right out. So I'm going to get this rolled out, but my word, how disappointing. I thought I was doing a great job by uh, putting that four foot net wire and having that nice tall fence. Nothing would ever touch it. Holy smokes. So I've got to put a, a, a barbed, I mean, I went through the whole, this is quarter mile fence. I went through the whole fencing with this uh, four foot net. And I'll tell you guys, it just doesn't work. You know, you see a lot of fence that's built with like a three foot net and then two strands of barb on top. That's the way to do it. So I did it wrong. Don't follow my lead. Okay, I'll show you what the setup is. I got this barbed wire tied off to the roll bar on the uh, Kubota and I use that to stretch it. It's probably an eighth of a mile or maybe even a little bit more. So the wire is too heavy. You're not gonna stretch it and get up off the ground. So I stretched it tight enough that I got the front wheel off the uh, ground, the right front wheel pulling so tight on this. And so I set the park brake on the Kubota and that seemed to work to hold tension on it. It actually worked like a champ. So I just walked the fence line, pulled that barbed wire up, propped it up on the fence, so now I'm gonna do the best I can to get this guy tied off um, to these, these are, you know, three inch, or yeah, two and seven eighths steel pipe, cemented in the ground. So I'm gonna tie this off the best I can and uh, hopefully it'll stay tight. So on today's 10 cow ranch video, you guys learned what not to do. Do not rely on four foot net wire without a top strand. So we're gonna wrap up the video. I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with me putting clips on and all that business. So anyway, Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.